beholder of the past. In any city, in any country, go to any mental institution or halfway house you can get yourself to. When you reach the front desk, ask to visit someone who calls himself the holder of the past. At the last syllable of your sentence, his eyes should open wide and stare at you as if he was attempting to see past your skin into your soul. Don't ask any questions, because he won't speak to you, and in the case that he does, you will wish he hadn't. He will take you down a long hallway, and you will walk with him for what will seem like hours. Stare straight ahead the entire time, for if you look at the floor, walls, or ceiling of the hallway, you will run into a dead end, and the worker will pursue you with a hellish bloodlust until you are completely disemboweled. After exactly 350 paces, the worker will stop, turn around, and pull a watch out of his pocket. He will turn the dial backward one hour, and at that point, you will have one hour to complete your task. If you don't, then there are no words to describe your fate. The lights will go out for exactly three seconds, and when they come back on, you will be in a room with no doors and a red-tinted skylight shaped like a pentagram. This will cast a blood-red star in the middle of the room where a splintered cherry table with two seats will be. Sitting at the seat closest to you, look up. Look down again, and a man with long, dirty black hair will be face down on the table. He will answer to one question. Where did he once stand? The man will speak not of a place that exists on any map, but will describe the room in painfully grotesque detail. Pay very close attention. He will enumerate exactly how many of what horrible object hang from spears protruding from the walls. You have the rest of the hour to find the room and sit on his throne. If you fail, I suggest you become armed. Heavily. His throne is Object 15 of 538. If brought together, he may once again return. 